Hi, this is me. I get real. I have a check-in video that I'm doing, and if it gets too dark, I need to turn the light on. It was dark around, well, it wasn't all the way dark at four, but I, when I looked outside at about four, it was the street lights were on um, outside, and then it was like drizzling or whatever. I don't know if that's the right term. Rain, shower, drizzling. I don't know. It wasn't necessarily cats and dogs, but it was light rain, spraying everything. Today is 11, 30, 17, and I did post another video. I'm doing a check-in. Um, I had done a couple short videos, surprisingly, and um, some of them are because I got interrupted and I restarted my computer. It's completely not working, and I had some work to do, and I couldn't do anything. Sometimes I just wanted to have a tablet or an extra computer or desktop or something where you can actually sit down if this one's not working or multitask, but I haven't been able to do it. So I, between the phone and the computers acting crazy, I do what I can with what I have. So today I, um, I did what I could to list stuff for my store and I had one of my shirts. Oh, I think I packaged it up. Actually, I didn't. And it's. Let me show you this shirt. Um, it's not going to be out bad. Um, I had this shirt uh, that someone gave me, or I found somewhere. I might have bought it. Oh, uh, Linda Allard. Ellen Tracy, um, I don't even know the size, I don't remember, I think it's a 14, I, it would be a lot better, and I actually, if you saw, it's in the laundry, my other silk headband that I, um, I got at a resale store, they match really, really well, so I went to list it, and I took all the pictures, and I had done the draft two days ago, for eBay, and it's one of my favorite shirts, and of all of the clothes, that when I was overweight, so I was overweight, and then I got bigger, and I got small, and I got bigger, so one lady said she removed all her big clothes, and she gained all her weight back, and more, maybe she was mad at the program, we were in tops, and sorry about the light, oh, I don't want to turn the light on, hello, and she was kicking herself because she didn't have anything to wear and she couldn't afford to like buy clothes and she was like really really bitter about it and for me I'm like I'm wanting to I wanted to like be careful like women older than me say oh, I have my fat day clothes I have my skinny clothes I have this and other people but a lot of stuff now like you know such a long time ago things weren't all spandex all like years ago, a good couple decades, things were not all stretchy. People were like, I love that because it's good when I have bloating from my PMS. Like, I don't like it because when I wash it after, even the pants are nice, clean, they bubble up from the spandex. Cause apparently, people I know don't wash stuff every time they wear it, but I get, like, grossed out. The places I go are just, uh, my neck. So... This is one of the few items that I have left in the back. And it, actually, I just, I gotta write this down. The top button, it has a wrap around, and it doesn't fit. So I need to write that down. And then the rest of the buttons fit. So I just kind of like went like this, but it's really designed to be like that. And I, I took, I hit a go, and I went to take the last picture, which I haven't even been really writing this down. But I'm taking this yardstick thing, it's like bigger yardstick, and I've been doing from underarm to underarm. So A, I can see it, B, I can go back and look at it, or someone else can zoom in on it. Um, especially if I'm packaging stuff, I, I should be doing this, the length and the waist on everything, and I'm being kind of lazy. Um, and my phone, knock on wood, has been working a little bit better. The app used to freeze all the time, and a lot of reason why I didn't list stuff is the computer didn't work and the phone didn't work, and it'd be late at night, and I'm like, I gotta sleep, like I, 
want to like do one more, do one more. And I went to take that last picture and I was already late. And I wasn't going to do it. And I took all these fabulous pictures. Like, oh my God, I don't want to get rid of this. Oh my God, I'm going to put in $100. No, $100. Nobody's going to buy it. And lo and behold, there was a big hole. Like, like a two-inch hole right on the armpit. I was like, oh crap. So it's like, I don't even know if I listed it. And I'm like, oh, that's a problem. So my water is done. And so I just found out that they demonetized... I wasn't really doing monetize, monetizing. Um, they demonetized my. Um, I didn't know I had 32 comments. My videos, because I had less than 10,000 views, are took ads out, and I was kind of sad because I was gonna put it, put mo monetary on the other one because I keep complaining about money, and it's like. Well, I don't do something about it. So I watched a lot of people. My computer's frozen. I watched a lot of people um, doing eBay and making money and even doing part-time YouTube, making money, selling stuff locally, getting invited to talks and all this stuff. And I was like, I want to be like them, but it never really like worked. So I was like, what's wrong with me? Like, stuff that is good for one person and 10,000 people, I haven't been able to figure out the secret of being in the big kids, you know, being the, the, the grown-up world, the big kids. I always just tell the kids when they went to a different stage, you're in the big kids class, you're in the big kids school. Like, oh my god, I miss you being kindergarten, preschool, junior high. Like, you just kept going up. So we're going to do, make sure I say I'm out tomorrow, we're going to print the packing slip. So, when I price this stuff, it's typically at the price of shipping plus two, three, four dollars. If it's just a regular household item, even if I bought it somewhere, it's been a hundred bucks, got free shipping, and I never used it, or I wanted to use it, but I realized I was broke. So, if I'm broke, it's like, who cares? Like, if I bought a pack of pens and I really need pens, I'll be like, I'm going to sell them because they're not open. So, basically, that's what I've been doing. It was 2.3 is 2.61, and 3 ounces is 2.61, 4 ounces I think is more, I always, I'm just going to do it at 4, it's not even 4 ounces, I'm going to just do it at 4 ounces, so I, I'm just going to do it, I'll just do it at a maximum, so then I'm going to say, I hope they don't like dock you. So I lost so much money, like, if it weighs, say it weighs 1.6 and I measure it 2, so, like, say it weighs 1.8 or 1.9, let's say it weighs 1.6 and I measure it 2, I'm okay, like, the price would be the same, but say it's right when they jump 30 to 60 cents from one price to another, or 2 to 3 dollars from one, one size or another, not price, price and size, wait, and what if, what if, let me purchase postage right now, what is this, make sure I have the right item, um, let's just wait it, purchase postage, so, make sure I did it tomorrow, yeah, so it's like, if it's 1.6 or 1.8, I get super paranoid, that by the time I actually tape it, so I'm doing, I'm not taping, I'm shutting it, putting the Thank you know and all that stuff in there until after I pay for postage because I want to put slap the label on. I actually had to tape it on. And I had thicker tape that was making a difference. And I don't know if my scale is crooked or something, you know, resting on something and making it lighter. And then the post office is usually 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 less than mine. If it weighs on mine 3.2, it might be 3.0 on theirs. It might be. One lady, when she was weighing it, I swear she was, like, leaning on it. Because it, it was, like, say, 5 ounces. And it came up on my receipt of, like, 1 pound and something. I was like, <gasps> like, I literally went back through line, had them dig through the pile and remeasure it. And it was, like, and I almost, the lady went to go to lunch. And I almost was like, wait, I was just in line. Can you grab that thing? Like, 
because I didn't want to like cut and I was like in there for a, like the line was like nothing the first time through and then it was all the way out the door and I was like please I was like this is not okay but I don't want a return and I don't want it to go to the person um postage due I remember getting cards as a kid, big cards, and it'd be like postage due. I'm like, what the heck does this mean? And my mom would be like, oh, you got to put like 13 cents in the mailbox or go to the post office and give them money. So I, I have been doing this, shrinking these small envelopes to 90. And I don't, I have stickers, but I've not been using, I need more than one order at a time. And I've been shrinking it to 90. And if you don't go back, I printed whole stacks of paper where it printed at 90 and I had some like documents I had to turn in. I'm like, sorry, if you can't read it, I hope you can. But I grabbed it on the way out the door and I didn't have time. So I was going back to print postage label to re go from 90, print it, and then go back and say print and do 100% size so that it's bigger. And this is the first time just now that I... that I went to the sh shipping slip or the, what is it called? The thing that goes inside, that's not, that's optional. I think you can print the label 10 times, the same label. So like maybe your printer didn't work or you did a test or whatever. Or like I've done it before where I don't know if I cut it or tore it or printed on the wrong set of paper. So they give you 10 chances. So I figured, why, if I press print again, is their computer algorithm going to say that's number two? You got eight tries left. Like, cause you could actually, like I printed it at like 80 and it was like, it was like all like messed up. The ink came out weird and all this stuff. It's time for me to go. And it's, um, I have to go somewhere later, um, now-ish. And I could like just lay down for an hour and just be like, I'll go an hour. Like, that's how I feel. Um, so, I am technically attempting to go and get, I was trying to see if I could get a hold. Probably had like counting pennies, $109 and seven cents in cash. And then I would have by midnight and then I'd have 500 to pay my rent. 500 needed after I'm scraping together money. And this is no buffer. This is like zero out my bank account. So you hope that there's no. Um, and I needed a buffer. I needed like at least a sixty dollar buffer. Um, yeah, sixty for my bank account, and I needed a buffer for the other bank account, of like at least forty, at least like sixty also. So, so far I found a penny, but it's my kid, so I can't take it. But um, this is a check in. Um. I can't monetize, and I I got kicked off Amazon for not selling anything. And I heard someone's getting warning from eBay for not selling enough. So I just read from YouTube they said uh, they said oh we sent out a notice in April that we demonetize videos under two, ten thousand views, and I was like oh. I never saw that email. I know I like. I never saw it, so I gotta keep track of stuff and deadlines. Um, peace. Check in. Peace.